I love this one, dude. I wish this yeah. proto, this custom proto, was the same color as the blue one. Yeah. It's uh, hard to deny that front end. That looks really cool. Yeah. Really, really cool. For me, it's not just the front end, it's the fenders. Yeah, the fenders too. The, the fenders make it, honestly. Hey, I'm Albo. I came to Japan as an English teacher, then moved near Tokyo to pursue my passions. I became a filmmaker because I love cars, Japanese culture, and a good story. I'm lucky enough to live the JDM dream, and so my videos are about my car life in Japan, where I go to car meets and visit shops, do track days and toge runs, build and review cars, and shoot vlogs, short films, and documentaries about Japan's car culture and history. Join me and my friends on our adventures and find out what it's really like in the land of the rising sun. So hop in, fasten your seatbelts, and enjoy the ride. この番組はご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りしました。Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So on today's video, we are back here at Tokyo Auto Salon for one of the biggest reveals of the year. This is the actual JDM spec new Fairlady Z behind us. And also we have the customized orange one, which is making the rounds on the internet. That's the one I really want to focus on in today's video. So let's just jump right into the video and check it out. By the way, I'm here with the famous Jitsuno Jeff. And uh, dude, so let's go check it out. Okay. Oh my goodness, I'm pumped. Ooh. Here we go, here we go. You know what? I am in love with the front end. I feel like they completely fixed the front. And I love the subtle front fenders, uh, front and rear fenders. These have a very Voltex look to them. They look very similar to the S2000 Voltex fenders. Dude, I actually, I like those wheels. Okay, this wheel setup just looks fantastic. Even though this is a factory custom spec, the fitment is already on point. This front end looks fantastic. We really don't know if this is going to be offered as an official body kit. This is possibly Customized Nissan's Proto. design study and also just to give consumers an image of what this car might look like if you modify it. I feel like they could sell this car as is with this body kit. But the fact that they've made it, I mean, they've actually made the parts. I don't think this is gonna be a one-off. What do you think? Yeah. I think depending on the response this gets, exactly, they're gonna yeah. put it into production. They're gonna find out everybody loves it and then they'll start selling some other parts. Honestly, sure. I think it looks incredible. Yeah. In fact, if they release this in the one gun blue color with that front bumper, just exactly this car, it doesn't mm. have the orange, this would sell for sure. It's got the Fast and Furious vibes, doesn't it? Yeah, Hans for car. sure. I like it. You know what, like looking at this car in person, compared to the GR86, which we've been fawning about all day, yep. what, what do you think? I, this car is stunning to me. Yeah, I think this is just a great example of current automotive design trend where things are going, where it's kind of, everything is simplified, it's cleaned up, it's going away from that kind of overstyled, aggressive FK8. automotive style. And, and um, I think this is the kind of design that give it a few years, give it a few decades, it'll never look really old, it'll never really look ugly or dated, it'll, it'll be kind of a classic design. What I find amazing is they really only needed to change the bumper, the front bumper, that's it. And it fixed it. <laughs> I mean, I, I would argue on that point a little bit. Like, I don't think it needs fixing the other one, but I do think it has a little bit of an acquired taste, that front grill on the other one. We'll have to go see it. I haven't seen it in oh, person. Oh, right here, it's right here. Let's go Let's check, check it right out right now. This thing is hard to take videos of in person because the yellow is so bright. It's like a highlighter yellow that doesn't quite capture on, I mean, if I dropped it down oh, wow. to F4. Here we go, this is the new Z. Dude, what do you think, thoughts? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look too different than what I thought from seeing photos, to be honest. Um, yeah, like I said before, it's, it's kind of an acquired taste, that front bumper. It's a bold move to do a bumper like that. 
where you know people are going to be a bit unused to seeing something like that. Um, might take some time to adjust for people to think that looks really cool. It looks more finished than it did before. Yeah. But it looks really good. I like it a lot, to be honest. Um, I think the other one is more... It's easy to, to get people on board with that design today. Dude, I know what it is. It's the color. And I've confirmed that because right behind us, yeah. we have the one gun blue one. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. What a car. This is it. This, especially with the kind of retro looking rear taillights. Okay, this looks incredible. The body lines, the very handsome rear arch. Very clean line across to the front. Dude, they all look good. I love it. Dude, this they is it. This good. is the angle. They're really good, yeah. Let me blast 1.4 now. Yeah, it looks super good now. I still think it's gonna look a little bit better with some lines over here on the front bumper, but I do like how it has that crease over here. And even the front grille looks like it's a lot, a lot more finished. It doesn't look like a prototype anymore. Now, the question on everybody's mind right now, at the time of this video, is, is this car worth the 7 million yen price tag, which has been announced for the Japanese market? Jeff, what do you think? Is this car worth 7 million yen? Oh boy. I That's mean, the big question. When you're talking about worth and value, it's always gonna be a relative thing, but um, yeah, for me, honestly, I think that's gonna be too expensive. Okay, so it's again, so it's again. I, I think for me, it's maybe a little bit too expensive, but we don't know if that's, in fact, it's probably not gonna be the price for the standard one, but that's 7 million yen or that $61,000 is more like for the Proto limited edition one. So. What is the actual price gonna be for this, you know, just the basic one? Um, we don't really know. And I think if it's around 5.5 million or so, for me, that's more of like a fair price. I think it's a, a good value. I agree. I think it's about a million yen too expensive. Yeah, at least like a million, million yes. and a half, just depending, but yeah. Like Jeff was just saying, this is a lot of money, but it is a brand new car. It is the newest expression of the Japanese hot rod. This is like really like a Japanese muscle car. Yeah, yeah. I think something like this is as important for, for like the GDA market as like a new Mustang is for like the totally 100%. US market, right? 100%, yeah, it's an iconic car, has a long history, lots of fans. And you know, it's a car that's in a price range that a lot of people can buy, so it's kind of, you see them everywhere. They're not really gonna be a rare car out in the world. Yes. And um, because of that, I think it has a, a huge significance to the overall car market. I think this is gonna be a very boring car. And it's pretty amazing how Nissan was able to execute it so well. I, I, I'm really amazed how much of a difference the paint makes. Yeah. Like, I hate it in the yellow. And you know I love yellow cars. But in the blue, this looks stunning. I just really love, really, really, really love this rear taillight. And with the Fair Lady Z, the real badge, this is like new school JDM. <laughs> Now, a lot of people will say, this is a rebodied version of the existing model, the 370Z. They're not totally wrong, but it does get a full model, uh, model change designation. So the underpinnings of it might be very similar to, or might be based on the previous car but it is considered big enough of a change, at least according to Nissan, to justify a new model change. It looks good. 
It looks super good. In fact, what I really want to see is this color with the body kit of the custom, the Proto Custom back there. Yeah, this looks spectacular. I'm, I'm very, very impressed. I love it a lot. I could see myself owning this car in the future. And I could see it being a very, very That's different choice like between no, no, this no. car and the new 86. Because 10 grand is a lot of money. Yeah. 10 or 15 grand. But it's not yeah, I guess it must be that much money. Which means if you really wanted this car, it is still accessible in that price range. Yeah, you like it? Kind of more like a flat. Me, kind of flat. Oh, more like that, kind of like our green. Famous more of a creamy, flat, not so metallic, not so, yeah. It's interesting. But if you see the light hit it, it does have like a, it does have some. So you guys are looking at this video through a 24 millimeter lens. Honestly, it looks amazing in person. Mm -hmm. So when we are looking at it in person, our eyes see more of a 50 millimeter. So this looks a little bit wider than it does in real life. Just a little bit. This is about the same focal length as the iPhone. Yes. So you know when you take pictures with your iPhone, it doesn't quite look exactly how it looks in real life. But I can tell you guys in person, this car is an absolute stunner. And I could really just walk around this car and make videos about it all day. I love it. I think Nissan's done something incredible here. And I hope consumers take to it. It's a special car. And that interior, look at the, the interior looks really good. Is the orange one also in the US or special here? No, I think it'll also yeah, be in the US. Be it's okay. just a prototype. Yeah, even oh. the interior looks fantastic. Oh, we're getting a peek inside. We are, I just opened it by myself. Oh. <laughs> these, these are the things you can do when you're elbow. Yep, yeah. <laughs> I look like I'm supposed to be doing it with this Here, NASA Here's camera. a fun fact. Fun fact? Um, I recognize these air vents very well. They're the same ones from the S15. Did, yeah, look, so, exactly so the same. still pulling from the parts bin. <laughs> That's why this car will be affordable, friends. Yes, that's why you'll still be able to find parts that's for right, it. That's right. That means you'll also be able to find parts for your exactly. S15. Yeah. Air vents break, no danger. You know what? I love these. Yeah, they look great. The shape of them. Yeah. And the way they look yeah. with the inside. There was a lot of love and care that went into designing exactly like these plastic piece and there yes, would be a yes, light yes, element yes. inside. Yeah, you're, you're right. It's the actually, way that it gives depth to it. It's, it's actually cool. three-dimensional. Yeah. So you can see if I move the camera, Yeah. you can see how it's not just a strip, but it's actually molded to conform to the shape of the housing. I, I absolutely love it. And I love how this is a single unbroken visual line across the whole rear of the bumper, or the rear of the car. All right, dude, give me your thoughts. What are your, what are your closing thoughts for this video? Absolutely love it. Me too. Um, I thought I would. Um, I, I think like most people and like most good cars, when you see it in person, it's even better. Yeah. It's beautiful. Again, as we pass by, I love this one, dude. I wish this yeah. Proto, this custom Proto, was the same color as the blue one. Yeah. It's uh, hard to deny that front end. That looks really cool. Yeah. Really, really cool. For me, it's not just the front end, it's the fenders. Yeah, the fenders the, too. The fenders make it, honestly. So this is like as low as you want to go, right? Because like, no one's going to be looking at it from down here. So like, it's more like, up here. okay, what I'm looking at is stairs over here. Yeah. So I'm holding the camera a bit high, but yeah. this is how you would actually see it in real life. I think it looks fantastic. Yeah, that's cool. What do you think of the Sick. the race car over here? The it's GT, a race car. The GT, GT2, GT3. It looks so damn cool. Yeah, it does look super, super cool. That is amazing. I mean, there's just something about that massive wing, 
the huge fenders yeah. with the carbon fender lures. As you guys know, I love these. Massive vents on the hood. And the shape of this, this rear fender with this 3D wind tunnel tested shape. Giant swan neck. Honestly, I can't wait to see something like this at Daikoku Futo. Somebody's gonna make a car like yes, this. Yes. And could you imagine, dude, in 20 years, mm -hmm. this is gonna be the last era of ICE JDM. Yeah. I wonder if we'll even have gasoline powered cars or if we'll even have gas available for sale. <laughs> we can only guess. We can only hope. All right. I love that kind of wedge design it has at the front where it's like the huge fenders but then that kind of pointy front. Yep. It looks so cool. Look at that. We didn't even have a look at this uh, this Nismo. Yeah, we didn't we didn't even look at this Nismo special edition. So let's just take a quick look at it over here. You know what? It's like yeah, it's nice. But I'm just, everyone, look, everyone is so excited about the new Z. People are completely ignoring Hardly the Nismo anyone here. even glance at this Nobody Nismo Nobody even GTR. cares. Yeah. This is really nice, but I'm very excited about the new Z. All right, we're gonna end this video here. All right, my dude, what do you think? Final thoughts? Incredible. I, I'm excited. Yeah. That, that's the word that comes to my mind. I feel like there is, this almost feels like a Hail Mary from like the JDM industry. Like, you know what? This is the end of the ICE era. Let's just go all out and let's just, let's just uh, build the cars that, like the last ones of this era, you know? Yeah. And we have like the legends like Smokies over there, Tamara Sun's over there. You know, they're, they're fully in support of reviving the JDM world, really. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's an exciting time to be alive, and I'm super glad that, you know, in Japan, things are getting a little bit better here, just pandemic-wise, and we're able to come here, be here at Auto Salon, and, and, and uh, witness the unveiling of this, the new Z. So it's an exciting time to be alive as a car enthusiast. Historic time. I think we'll talk yeah. about this Tokyo Auto Salon, the time we came, the time we saw this for the first time, and that for the first time, decades from now. So just trying to appreciate it in the moment. Yeah. So Jeff, I have one more question for you before we end this video and go to the next video, which is, do you think in 2022, it's a good idea to buy an ICE powered car, knowing that the end is near, knowing that we're about 10 years away, less than that, half a decade away from the proliferation of electric cars? Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I wouldn't be worrying about that kind of thing. There are a lot of reasons why the greater, larger world, for those of us who are not in like, the most richest and uh, you know first world type of countries that can have EVs. There are a lot of other reasons that around the world, ICE will continue to exist and will need to for a while. So we're in no danger of all the gas stations disappearing uh, anytime too soon. So you heard it from Jeff, economist Jeff. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> and uh, I think we'll be okay. So if you are on the fence about buying a new 86 or a new Z, this is it. Get in on it because this is the last era. This is the final JDM. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to say that because there's going to be a new <laughs> era of it, the new electric era. Yeah. But this is going to be the last of the the next golden era. So. Well, if you yeah. support and you buy these cars now, then maybe there will be another generation in the future. Otherwise, it's probably the end. Stop buying old JDM ship boxes. <laughs> buy the new stuff. I say buy both, but you know it's cool. They're yeah. different. <laughs> and there's something to be said about being the original owner of a sports car and just owning it for the entire duration from from when it had zero kilometers all the way up until like 200,000, 300,000. Yeah. So, all right guys, we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching this episode of this little mini series here at TAS. And uh, other cool cars I'm looking forward to see, the new Type R, which is camouflaged, the STI. Uh, WRX is the new one. The new WRX yeah. and also the, the, what's it called? The, New Yaris 
the GT3 and the STI GT concept. So there's a lot of cool cars here. Keep watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.